Hi, I'm Gabrielle Fontaine from Indian City. Hey, my name is Pamela Davis. My name is Jay Bodner. Hi, I'm Neewa Mason. Hi, I'm Jeremy Cause of Indian City, and we're excited to release Code Red with Warner this Friday on National Truth and Reconciliation Day, and uh, it's pretty special for us. I'm the daughter of the late Vince Fontaine, who founded Indian City. My dad, Vince, was a firm believer in reconciliation. He truly believed that the people of Canada had the tools available towards healing. And he loved this country, he loved the people in it, he loved the diversity, the culture, and he really believed that reconciliation was something that we could achieve. Uh, many of our family members were forced into residential schools as children. And growing up, it wasn't really something that people talked about or acknowledged. My dad's cousin, Phil Fontaine, he was one of the first people to speak publicly about the abuse that he received in residential schools. And he was a driving force to the settlement agreements and Truth and Reconciliation Commission. And now we have this national day to acknowledge this. And so we are making steps in the right direction. We still have a long way to go, but uh, we're making progress and that's what matters. Both my grandmothers, my Kokums, were survivors of Indian residential school. And so having this day to recognize the resilience, you know, just to acknowledge that people did go through this, that they have their stories to share. It means a lot to me that we are recognizing this and I am a firm believer that we are here today because they survived. Yeah, my dad in Want to Be There, one of the seven teachings um, we did film on location at, the residential school that he did attend. I didn't know it at the time we went to do it, but it was the first time that he'd been back since he left. So yeah, it was pretty, pretty tough on all of us, but we're here, we survived, and we want to help. Uh, reconciliation, that is a big, a big discussion. It's a, uh, it's no simple idea. I feel like the Truth and Reconciliation Day acknowledgement, um, both Indige and non-Indige people, um, educating themselves and helping with the healing. It is the building of bridges between all peoples of this country, but also more specifically Indigenous and non-Indigenous people to share culture, share music, share human interest. Uh, because while there are many different cultures, we share a very unique yet similar human experience. There's aspects of human experience that are completely shared by everyone, no matter where you come from. So to me, my commitment and my participation in reconciliation is to be patient and understanding and passing on knowledge and being an ally and a protector. To carry the legacy that Vince started means a lot because he was a firm believer that music will bring us all together and to create those those relationships those bridges to you know reconcile and move forward together oh indian city's music that's one thing um that vince always was very proud about that it, it was uplifting and it celebrated culture diversity he really wanted to showcase all of the highlights of indigenous culture through music very successfully at it as well it's been a long road i'm sad he's gone i'm happy though that we're continuing on with this work it really means a lot to you know remember him and to carry on his legacy that way there's a beautiful tragedy in it in a way i think it's up to us to continue to build that bridge and really make the most out of this opportunity, this partnership. And in many ways, our partnership with Warner Music is a step towards their version of reconciliation, is to honor and share Indigenous music. So I think Vince, um, you know, this is an understatement, but he just would have been thrilled that his hard work, our hard work, is finally being acknowledged at uh, a major national level. Code Red is a pretty special album for multiple reasons. There's a lot of guest artists on it, and there's a lot of our family on it, with uh, Jim Cuddy and Chantal Kaviatsik. I know for me personally, those were people that I looked up to as I was growing up. 
and then have them on the album and to have music videos with them and to be working with them and to be working with the people that we have within our Indian City family. It just seems like all the right things are falling into place. We're still kind of like, uh, pinch me, like, is this really happening? <laughs> um, and of course, we're like super happy because this was something that was very important to Vince. Basing the album off of a truth and reconciliation call to action as well in non-Indigenous working with Indigenous um, to create art. Sad that he wasn't here for the Warner part, um, but I still feel like he, he kind of knows and he's very happy, just like we are. Honored, that's what it is, we're honored. We're, we're Indian, Indian City. City! Thank you Warner Music Canada for all your hard work. Check out the new Code Red album, available today. Ta -da!